I'm Frank Borman, and I'm recording this on Sunday evening. It's oh, a little bit past 8.30 now, uh, almost uh, 25, 26 hours since Continental ceased operation. After uh, setting things on course this morning with a series of meetings, I've tried to reflect on the past five years and to look back at some of the communications that I've had with you because we are really approaching a, a, a fundamental decision as a, as a family here at Eastern. And without saying I told you so, uh, you know, I, and I'm quite convinced that many of you uh, think I've been, uh, have been predicting too many dire circumstances and issuing too many warnings, but let, let me just go back and tell you, we, we predicted what was going to happen with deregulation and we're living it now. We predicted what was going to happen with the proliferation and the growth of low-cost carriers, and we're living it now. Some of you more recently remember that I predicted that if indeed we tried to fly through a machinist strike, we would only last about uh, two weeks. Uh, I know that that cost me a lot of credibility, and yet look here at Continental who had uh, a better financial situation going in. They lasted a little over four weeks, and now they're in, in Chapter 11. So. I, I guess that it's a fact of life that people don't like change. People don't like change, particularly if it's perceived as threatening. And here we are in the midst of a dynamic industry that is really offering nothing but threatening change. But we are now faced with three fundamental courses of action. And the reason that we're faced with them today is simply because, as I predicted to you last fall and again in the spring, the revenue projections that we had made have simply not occurred. The airline industry has not participated in the resurgence in the economy. So we have found ourselves short in the past four months about $100 million in revenue, and we simply don't have the resources to cope with that. What do we do? Well, we had a special board meeting last Monday and presented three choices three courses of actions to the board of directors for their uh, selection of one and their approval uh, to go to you. The first course of action was to simply shut the airline down, a la Braniff, preserve the cash that we had, and see if we could dispose of the assets in order to satisfy the creditors. I don't have to tell you that was very, that would be very destructive to all of us who work for the airline. Second course of action, is to file for protection under Chapter 11 of the Bank Bankruptcy Act, a la Continental. Uh, say if we could continue to operate, it would certainly have to be under vastly different circumstances, uh, as uh, Continental employees are finding out. Uh, indeed, Continental now says they'll come back with a $49 fare. That won't make our life any easier uh, if they're successful at that. Or third, we could try to reduce the basic cost structure of the airline. And since 78% of our controllable costs are labor rates, and since labor rates are now part of the competitive picture, we urge the board to adopt that course of action. They approved it, and they have auth authorized us to bring this proposal to the employees. And of course, that has been done in a series of letters that you've already received. Now, I have great concern that you understand the importance of the decision that you will inevitably be asked to make. And I want you to understand that I care a great deal about your financial security and your families, and I am now telling you that in my best judgment, this is the most important decision that you will be asked to make uh, in your working career at Eastern. I simply urge you to select the proposal that we have offered, and I want you to understand with all of the uh, honesty that I can muster in your eyes that in my estimation you will be voting on your jobs. Thank you very much.